Hi, this is Matthew Cratter from Trader University. And today I want to talk about whether we are on the brink of a massive new bull market. I have an indicator that fires very, very rarely that I'm going to show you. And it is just fired, indicating double digit returns for the stock market in the coming 12 months. So be sure to stay tuned for that part of the video. Now, as we've been saying, once the S&P 500 got two daily closes above the red line, the 200-day moving average, I was going to turn bullish again. This is a very strange environment. There's obviously a lot of tragedy happening. Uh, we have riots. We have protests. We still have COVID hitting uh, parts of the Northern Hemisphere and really hitting the Southern Hemisphere. But the stock market is not the economy. The stock market is not the hospital ward. And what we're actually seeing is enormously strong price action, strong price action. And I've learned over many years of trading that when you get price action like this, you should not ignore it. So I'm going to give you the evidence here and I'll let you guys decide for yourself. What's amazing is the S&P is now positive on the year. Uh, it's down just 0.73%, but when you count the dividend return, it's actually just mildly positive, about 0.16% on the year. We have had massive money printing, as we've been talking about in many, many videos. This may be the reason behind this huge move up in equity prices. We have the Fed and all the world's central banks really exploding the money supply. The Fed's exploding the money supply, using it to buy treasuries and other securities and to prop up asset prices. We can see here, this is the M2 money stock. It's beginning to level off a bit here, but just an enormous move uh, in the first uh, half of 2020, moving from about 15 trillion up to 18 trillion, which historically is just really unprecedented. So what else is happening that's driving this move? We are beginning to see what may be an extended weakening of the U.S. dollar. This is the U.S. dollar uh, index, uh, DXY. These are uh, weekly bars. And as we can see here, it's what, I, what I, I'm suspecting is that there's been some policy decision at a very high level to really weaken the dollar and uh, thereby stimulate all the world's economies. It doesn't just stimulate the U.S., it stimulates... Uh, all the world's economies, primarily through stimulating uh, asset prices, as we're certainly seeing in the U.S. right now. So these are weekly bars. Uh, the, the U.S. dollar could weaken quite a bit from here. Uh, there's no reason it can't get back down to the high 80s in this uh, index. We're seeing big breakouts um, and really good-looking charts on the Australian dollar, the euro, everything strengthening against the U.S. dollar. And part of the U.S. dollar weakening, of course, uh, it's very good for gold and it's very good uh, for Bitcoin as well, all this, all this money printing. So what is the indicator? The indicator of a new massive stock market rally ahead is what's called the breadth thrust indicator. This was developed by Marty Zweig and it's basically calculated by looking at uh, advancing issues, so stocks that are up on an exchange versus declining issues, stocks that are down on an exchange. And so uh, it's normally normally uh, keyed off of the New York Stock Exchange. You take the total number of uh, advancing issues divided by the total number of issues. So the total number of advancing plus declining issues. You slap a 10-day moving average on that, and you get a signal when it moves from below 40% to above 61.5% in just 10 days. I'll add a link to this chart below so you can all see it. Uh, but we basically had this signal from May 13th through May 28th. This is a very, very rare signal. And uh, uh, what, it, what it generally suggests is that you are going to, ha going to have a very big stock market rally. So this, this, this triggers fairly rarely, uh, but there have only been a certain number, 14 or 15 thrusts since 1945. And each of these signals was followed by a 24, uh, on average, a 24.6% um, rally within 11 or 12 months. So we're talking double digit rally, which would really take us to new highs in the S&P 500. I've been saying that uh, I expect us to see new highs within the next 12 months, but we actually could see it uh, sometime this summer. Now we do have, uh, this is seasonally a weak period for the markets. So they, there's a saying, sell in May and go away. Uh, we are seeing some some exuberance among small traders buying bankrupt stocks like Hertz, um, Chesapeake, 
and really piling into things like the airlines and the, and the cruise lines. What's interesting is these traders have actually uh, been doing fairly well and they've been, they've been making money. Uh, basically Warren Buffett dumped his airline stocks to retail traders and uh, they've, made, they've been making a fortune on it. So there are some signs of exuberance, but th what I would say is that these signs can, be, um, can continue for some time. So for example, really from the fall of 98 through the, the NASDAQ peak in March of 2000, we saw a lot of behavior like this. We saw crazy moves in individual stocks like we've been seeing. In terms of the sell in May and go away, when you see a truism like this violated, um, I think you have to look at these not as ironclad rules, but as general trends, especially uh, August and September tend to be very weak months for the stock market. But when you see a really strong start to the summer months, uh, this may have something to do with a lot of people still being at home and day trading on Robinhood. But I think it's more than that. I think it really is something more fundamental. It's the Fed. Uh, it's the Fed printing. So what this suggests, uh, what this breadth indicator suggests, is that we're going to have a new giant move up in stocks. Now, this is not going to be a move that's up in stocks because the economy is doing great or individual people are doing great. This is just how weird the stock market is. Uh, I, would, I would expect gold to continue to do really well. I expect Bitcoin, just combined with this, uh, this kind of risk on indicator, Bitcoin should do extremely well. Uh, I'm also long. I'm long a lot of Bitcoin. Um, long Tesla, which is uh, closed closed at new highs, and so I would uh, sort of skew the portfolio to momentum names. And we'll be talking more about momentum stocks that I like in uh, in the coming days because I think we're entering another good momentum period. We're seeing breakouts in things like Tesla, uh, Beyond Meat, uh, Amazon breaking out. Uh, just a gorgeous chart. And in addition to gold, uh, GLD doing well, I would expect to see the miners do as well. Uh, so GDX would be the, uh, the gold miners. And then we have GDXJ, the junior gold miners, should also do really well. Uh, chips are looking quite good. Stocks like uh, NVIDIA, uh, the chip index, SMH, all of these. I think basically you can go long uh, I really hesitate to say something like this. It's not investment advice, but in this kind of environment, you can just you can buy an ETF like SPY or QQQ and do very well. Maybe lever it up with futures. Uh, in particular, this Nasdaq chart is just just absolutely um, absolutely unbelievable. This break, uh, this move, we had such a fast crash and then such a fast rally back to new highs. I think this is extremely bullish and that one should not try to fade this. So another way to trade this is to lever up using futures. Again, very risky, uh, higher risk, higher reward. Uh, the NQ futures would be the NASDAQ E-mini, but one can also play with individual names. Uh, as I said, Amazon, Tesla, looking really well, uh, looking really, really strong, strong charts. Uh, if you wanna learn how to trade these momentum stocks using options and get even more bang for your buck, you should check out my course, Swing Trading with Options, where I show you how to do this uh, with various option uh, option structures, as well as a couple other uh, courses here that I think will be uh, whose strategies will be doing really well in the in the coming months. Uh, I have a day trading course in here, as well as my flagship course, Learn to Trade Stocks Like a Pro. Uh, when you join this, you get access as well to all of my uh, crypto investments. You can see inside my account, as well as a dividend stock portfolio that I just started. Uh, a couple days ago, we'll be adding to this, adding a new stock roughly every week. So if this looks something that interests you, click on the description notes below. You can check out all these courses. You can click on any box and see the, uh, the list of courses. And then if you'd like to try it out, you can just click get it now at the bottom. It will take you to this checkout page, normally tuition, which gives you access to all of my uh, trades in the dividend account, the crypto account, as well as all my courses. Normally tuition is just $125 for 30 days, but I want to give you a special coupon. If you scroll down and click where it says have a coupon code and you type in YT as in YouTube 99, click the update button. That will take $26 off. So instead of being $125 for 30 days access, it'll be just $99. No long-term contracts. You can cancel at any time. Watch all the courses in the first 30 days and then cancel. And I will be adding uh, new courses and new lectures here all the time. 
So check that out. Also check out all my free videos on YouTube, obviously. And hit that subscribe and like button if you found this helpful. Thanks a lot for listening. Let me know your uh, questions and comments in the comment section below as well. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.